Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good update. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and uh, get started. So last time we spoke and last time we were in here, we were talking about virtual domains as it relates to the Fortinet FortiGates uh, technology, right? Um, and of course, as a review, virtual domains are similar to VDOMs and VRFs, um, VRFs being virtual routing uh, forwarding um, instances on a router, right? And basically what all of this means is the VDOMs are virtual instances of um, a firewalls uh, virtually on the same hardware unit, okay? So today we're just gonna go ahead, it's gonna be a short session. We are going to run through configuring, uh, you know, a multi VDOM unit, okay? And so first we're gonna do a config with a split VDOM. Uh, and then we're gonna do a config with multi VDOM. And then we're gonna go ahead and reset our config back to a no VDOM config, okay? All right, let's go ahead and run through it. All right, so I'm going to log in to our firewall, All right? So I'm in. Um, and of course, I know we started this last session, but uh, like I was telling Dre before we started, uh, we had some complications with the VM version of um, our Fortinet 40 gate. So I had to get the uh, actual physical firewall to go ahead and do this uh, instance. So we have our hardware 40 gate X100E, it's plugged up. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and configure this FortiGate to operate in VDOM mode, okay? So first, what you're gonna do is go to uh, global config mode, right, within the FortiGate. All right, then you're gonna have the option to go ahead and enter VDOM mode. Um, and as you can see, of course, um, we now have the option versus what we saw in the VM, okay? All right, then when a, you can go ahead and hit the question mark and you'll have those three options that I just told you about. Either you can do uh, no VDOM, right? No split or multiple VDOM mode. You have split VDOM mode, meaning um, you can go ahead and have a uh, split uh, virtual domains to where one, um, one instance of the firewall is dedicated to just management traffic and the other is dedicated to actual traffic passing through the firewall. And of course, we got multi VDOM mode. That's the examples that we were talking about as far as we can have multiple instances instances of firewalls on this same device. The example that we saw within the PowerPoint was uh, if we were ISP and we had multiple customers that were plugged into this firewall. Okay. First, we're going to go ahead and do the split. Okay. All right. And typically doing this, right, whenever you enable VDOMs, it should not, right? It should not reboot your uh, FortiGate, but it will log us, log anybody that's logged in has an administrator into your FortiGate should log everybody out, okay? And of course, you're gonna get the message, some settings, firewall policy object, security profiles, all of this, right, will be deleted. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, a split task VDOM FortiGate traffic will be created, right? And you will be logged out for the operation to take effect. Do you want to continue? So you have to make sure you are not doing this on a production on a production firewall. And if you are, please make sure you do a backup of the config. If not, you can do things that are irreversible. Okay, but take note of what will be you know deleted, some of the settings, what have you. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and click yes. Okay. All right. So now it brings up the login screen, right? It wasn't rebooted, but we were popped out, all right? And we are going to go ahead and log in with the default admin account, okay? And let's take our eyes towards the top right of the screen, okay? So now we have a section that says Vida, right? And so a couple things popped up, right? We have... Our global VDOM that popped up, right? We have our FortiGate traffic VDOM and we have our root VDOM. Okay. Another thing that you'll see as soon as you enable um, the VDOM mode is that whenever you go to the dashboard and you take a look at system information, you will see, um, of course, it'll have the option that's added now that says virtual domains. 
and it'll tell you what VDOM mode it is operating in. Okay. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the traffic VDOM, right? Because within the split VDOM option, right, we only just have two VDOMs. We have the one dedicated to traffic and we have one dedicated to management, okay? And this traffic one is strictly for uh, network traffic. That's it, right? If we wanna go ahead and make changes to the entire FortiGate, what have you, we gotta go to the root VDOM. This is for all management, okay? All right, so we you're not going to see an option to take a look at policies or anything like that. It's strictly management, okay? Strictly management, all right? All right, now let's go ahead and let's log back in, right? We're going to global VDOM, right? And let's go ahead and take a look at what, what it looks like from the, um, uh oh, let's see what it takes what it looks like from a uh, split, from a multi VDOM standpoint, okay? Let me do this, all right. All right, so we're gonna go into global config again, if it lets us, go ahead, there we go. Yep, and we should be in global mode. There we go. Just now. Whoops. Okay, give me one second. We may have to do it in root. This is old code, so bear with me, guys. We can do it in the root one. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. One second. Code. Oh, there we go. Okay. Be able to. Yep. Okay. Awesome. So give me one moment. Let's go ahead and open up global. And let's see if we can make a few changes here. So we're going to go to settings. And it may have the option to where we can change it here. Awesome, All right? So the operating set settings, right? Now that we configured VDOM mode on this firewall, we can go ahead and change it here, right? We can change it to multi VDOM mode, right? It's going to give us the option to do so, right? It'll tell us, hey, changing the VDOM configuration will require us to re-log in, right? We hit OK, right? And we go ahead and log in. All right. Excellent. So now we're in multi VDOM mode, right? So, what that means, we can go ahead and we can change a few things. All right. And if we go in the CLI, we should be able to config. And we should be able to go ahead and configure all of these things within the route, right? Along with within the traffic. So give me one second. Okay, just give me that option. All right. Nope, it does not. Let's go right there. See if it gives us that option. It should, should not. And let's take it. This is with me. Let's see what access changed here. Okay. 
Okay, excellent. Okay. Let's make sure we're on the right code. Okay, so let me, looks like we have access to all of that. We're now specified to one. All right, so first things first, right? We're in multi VDOM mode. Um, we can go ahead and change those settings if need be, right? We should have an option here, right? To where we can go ahead and change, actually configure VDOMs, um, configure VDOMs on point, right? So we have our two VDOMs here, right? With multi VDOM mode, we can go ahead and create a VDOM there. So we'll call this one sales, all right? Um, we can say the uh, next generation firewall mode, whether it be profile or policy based, right? We'll keep that separate, right? Central, uh, you know, source NAT. We went over source NAT before. We can leave this default. We don't have to change anything. Right, we go ahead and hit OK. Right. One quick thing I want to make uh, known to you guys is that you see I'm logged in as an admin. Right. We touched on within the theory is that specific admins can have access to certain VDOMs. Right. So if we go ahead and configure administrators, right, we go ahead and say, hey, Bob, you know, we go ahead and have our new engineer, Bob. Right, and we uh, create a local password for him. Right, we can assign to him what VDOMs he'll have access to. We can give him access to more than one, right? Um, but we'll just say he only had access to sales, right? All right, and we'll go ahead and give her, give him, um, right, uh, you know, prof admin access. Now, why did it change whenever I switched to super admin? Super admin gives access to the entire device. You do not want to do that, right? And because what's going to happen is they're going to have access to the entire device, the entire 48. When maybe this may be one of your knock engineers, you just need them to have access or be in control of specific uh, VDOMs. So it's going to be um, it's going to be provisional access to a specific firewall or VDOM, right? So we're just going to do sales, right? You go ahead and hit OK. And so if Bob logs in, right? Bob logs into the firewall, right? From a security standpoint, let's, if I remember my password for Bob, probably got to change the Bob password, probably fat fingered something. But if Bob logged in, right, he would be immediately brought to sales and have access to nothing else. Okay. All right. So just keep that in mind. And that's how you would uh, isolate your administrators to specific VDOMs. Now, of course, you guys are probably thinking, what if we're using external um external configuration, how, you know, what if our external authentication and we're authentication, authenticating our admins to a AD server or radius, you can set that up as well. It takes a bit more configuration. It'll just require you to go ahead and just look at some documentation, um, you know, uh, probably work with your internal server team so you can set up radius, make sure that's configured, make sure some parameters are configured on the, um, on the firewall and you should be good to go, okay? So with that being said, that is the difference between uh, split VDOM mode and multi VDOM mode, right? Now, with all that being said, how can we go ahead and switch back to our regular mode, right? Give me one second, we'll go ahead and do that shortly. So since I'm an admin, Let's go ahead and go to global. 
All right. All right, and we should have access to the entire device, All right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. Can I disable VDOM mode more than one active VDOM? VDOM mode cannot be changed from other. Okay, excellent. So we need to go ahead and do that. Give me one second, just because it's a little bit different in this code. Okay. Let's see what access that we have. And we should have that option global. There we go. And if we do set VDOM mode, right, then it should give us the option. And again, you have to be a super admin to do this, right, or the admin account to go ahead and make this change, right? Right, we go ahead and click no VDOM. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and get that error, right? That says VDOM cannot be disabled when multiple VDOMs are present, right? And that's because I went ahead and created a VDOM, right? So let's go ahead and take care of that first. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, we got some references there too. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's see the reference for that one <clears throat> and let's see the reference for that one yeah let's take a look at that one what is this used on yep so just okay all right so there's a lot of uh address objects and objects that reference that, right? So this is a lot of the things you have to keep in mind whenever you're creating a VDOM, you know, you're adding a few things in there. A lot of things you gotta keep in mind before switching back, okay? So you just gotta be sure. Um, one thing when I was moving on up in the world, what I had to realize is just, again, take your time, make sure you know everything that's being configured so you can go ahead and reset everything back. So it should, I shouldn't have any references any longer. Okay, it's telling me about that. Okay, it's telling me about that. What is this? All right, so we have a reference. Okay, all right, so it's that interface. All right, let's take a look at that. Sales, all right. And I'm going to walk through this so you guys can see, um, see the struggles of going ahead and disabling this and moving some stuff out. So, all right, it looks like the interface of the sales interface. So what I will do, let me see what this looks like on the global standpoint. There we go. All right. We don't see it here. Here we go. Yeah, nothing's there. And let's see what's going on. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's go back to global. Let's go to system. Let's go to the, um, All right, so we're good to go on that one. There we go. Now we can delete it. It should give us the option now. Yeah, it's a little bit buggy. Like I said, this is old code. All right, and I believe now, if we try to run our command, 
and we hit end, you'll be logged out for this operation. So we just had to remove the VDOMs, right? We're gonna go ahead and be logged out. It's gonna take a while, the FortiGate's gonna do its magic. We go ahead and hit a refresh. We log back in. And voila, right? We went back to just having one FortiGate, right? And of course, as you can see, the bug, right? The virtual, I wouldn't call it a bug, probably cosmetic. It's still showing us an option for a VDOM when we don't even have the VDOM option no more, right? So if we go down here, right? We can't even, you know, we can go ahead and enable it right here, right? That's an option now, right? Before, we, of course, we powered on the FortiGate. It wasn't an option, but now that we've, if we already enabled it before, we can go ahead and enable it through the GUI now, okay? Um, so that's just a couple of things, right? Hopefully this made sense, right? Um, how it looks like. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot set, set up an entire lab environment as far as, because uh, you guys won't be able to see the lab. I don't think it'll make sense. Um, but I will make a way to where within um, EVNG, we can go ahead and create like a mock uh, VDOM environment, what have you. Um, but hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully, you know, uh, so you guys how to set up a VDOM. This was um, this was very helpful and um, assist you with your learning. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, man. Appreciate it. Right, sounds good. All right, guys. Later.